Introducing the Nokia 3300 series wireless phone. Nokia, connecting people. Millennials may remember the Nokia 3310 as one of the most memed phones in the internet today, but some of us older folk might remember it as the very first cell phone we've ever used. Here at MWC 2017, Nokia revived the iconic handset, giving it a 2-inch color display, a smart operating system, and a 2-megapixel camera. Yes, those specs might be atrocious by today's standards, but hey, thanks to the power of nostalgia, no one cared. The Nokia 3310 is the biggest, most hyped about news here at MWC 2017. And it's not the only throwback, old-school gadget to make an appearance here at the show. Companies are clearly looking to pass for inspiration and capitalizing on your love of the good old days. Apart from the Nokia 3310, another brand that drove fans crazy was BlackBerry. After declaring it would no longer make phones, the company sold the license to its brand to Chinese company TCL. At MWC, TCL showed off the BlackBerry Key One, which brings back the physical keyboard, as well as a suite of software that BB has come to be known for. We also saw Samsung team up with Stedler to make an old-school pencil-style version of its S Pen stylus. We don't know how much that'll cost yet, but hey, at least it looks a lot better than Apple's futuristic-looking pencil. Of course, capitalizing on nostalgia isn't all that new. The entertainment industry has been doing it forever, with reboot after reboot of popular titles and franchises. But at least the products here are actually useful, although the Nokia 3310 is a tad gimmicky. You can actually use the phone, and it will only cost 50 euros. And you can play Snake on it, albeit a full-color remaster of the black and white original. But why are companies doing this? None of them will really come right out and say it, but it's clear the market is struggling to differentiate itself when smartphones as a product category is as saturated and mature as it is. Just look at what LG and Huawei are doing. One of them is changing up its screen aspect ratio, and the other is relying on Pantone colors to stand out. Bringing back a beloved phone or a popular feature from the past might be a way to generate excitement again. In today's social anxiety that's risen out of the chaotic political climate, people might be looking back to the past for a reminder of the good old days as a soothing self. Heck, the presidency was even won on a campaign based on nostalgia, no matter how inaccurate people's memories might be. The Nokia 3310's success, at least in generating hype, is sure to inspire other tech titans to try and emulate it. That means we could see more old-school gadgets come back from the dead with new and updated bodies. Meanwhile, I'm plugging in my fax machine, you can reach me on my pager, and check us out on http colon slash slash www.engadget.com forward slash mwc.